was, you know, they're there. But the second I saw my host ad with a sign, and I saw that blue sign at the airport with the white letters of Sydney, I'll, I think I have some pictures, I'll insert some if I can. Um, I was, I was so, so beyond excited, and I felt so empowered, and incredibly tired and jet lagged, but so excited. So my host dad picked me up, which was the first time that we met. Amazing guy. Um, had a lot of fun with him. We went to McDonald's and then um, Mecca's. Mecca's, right? And then we went to the house. It was pretty late in the evening, um, which was kind of lucky for me, so I could immediately sleep. I think so that really helps after travel when you don't have to like experience the full day first. Got there at night. The kids were already in bed. I arrived in my room, which was decorated really nicely. It was a very, like, it was a very regular sized house, and I was on the bottom floor, um, and the family slept upstairs, so I was, like, with the living room and the washroom and, and the kitchen. Um, so I got to my room. Talking about this, I even remember the smells. That's, it's crazy. Um, I got there and went to bed, texted my family, obviously, and then the next morning, it was King's Day in my country, so I was getting a lot of drunk calls and FaceTimes of friends, which was fun. Immediately got confronted with FOMO. Like, I'm not even there for 25 hours, like 24 hours. Can we just can, give me a second? Um, but then I met the kids, and they came into my room, and I had little um, stuffed animals for them, and they were so sweet and shy and little, and just remembering them, one of them, the little boy had like the cutest head of curls, and they were all precious. It's really weird to see them now, six years later on Facebook, and them, them like being tall and everything. Anyway, little babies, they were adorable. Anyway, I um, got to spend the day with the family, just get everything settled. grocery store my first day, I think, to Woolies. And, um, yeah, I think I had my first Tim Tam that day. My life changed forever. They're delicious. Um, am I a Vegemite person? No, I know that someone's gonna ask, but, um, uh, not really a Vegemite person. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that that's when, like, my work weeks started. Um, for a big motorcycle company, and the mom was a nurse, and she had a uh, very like, varying schedule, so some days she would work the three days in a row, sometimes there would be a day in between, so sometimes I had a three-day like work streak and then a long time off, and then sometimes I had like one day on, one day off, one day on, or two and one, you know, it really depended, um, which was a blessing and a curse at the same time because um, I had a lot of free time some weekends, but I didn't really know that far in advance. So if I wanted to go on longer trips or bigger trips, it was kind of hard to do because it was somewhat last minute that I knew and we both knew. Um, so I spent a lot of my weekends exploring Wollongong and Sydney, and I made lovely friends. I made friends through Facebook pages. And I uh, really got along with two Swedish girls, a Dutch girl, Sabina Shikaiks. <laughs> Love you. 
based in New South Wales, so I don't know if it varies per thing, but um, I had an Opal card, but around Wollongong there was a shuttle bus from my town to the city centre, which was great. And then um, from my town there was also a direct train to Sydney, um, which was also great. So, um, yeah. But it was just eye-opening to me to get to walk along cliff sides and bays and beaches and the, the nature is so lush and beautiful um, in comparison to our country. Our country has its charm, you know, like I love it here, blah blah blah, but it was, it's so lush and being close to the water. I like Don't know what's up. Um, have some patience, but it's also like. 
angelic and we had so much fun and we would make forts and watch movies and play dress up and do arts and crafts and play outside and we did so much um so yeah that's that on that and um i went to melbourne for a weekend which was amazing we did a pub crawl i saw so much of the city the art is wonderful the architecture of the city the diversity is so great and i loved i loved melbourne a lot it was my second choice of city um when au pairing i think that if i were to go to australia again i would stay in melbourne probably i don't know um definitely experienced the whole four seasons seasons in a day thing it's very real um It's not really my vibe. I was 
see you.